the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. Come over and start a conversation with just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance. Now take my hand, stop, and the men on the jukebox, and then we start to dance. Now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say boy. Let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come, come on now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. And I'm a bed she smell like you. Every day discovering something. Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. What a killer tune this is. I know it's going to be a real popular one. So I'm going to give you a few different ways to play it. So we're going to look at a real easy beginner one and using the, the little looper pedal and all of that sort of stuff. And a big thank you to Selena for joining me there for a little intro demo thing because I totally suck trying to sing songs like this on. Now the good news is this song is actually pretty simple. It's just really four chords that repeat all of the way through the whole tune. Okay. Now the chords in the kind of the proper key, the way he seems to play it most of the time would be C sharp minor bar chord, F sharp minor bar chord, A and B. Okay, that is it. That's the, the, the chord sequence for the whole song is just one bar on each one of those chords or half a bar if you're thinking of it in double time. It's kind of a few ways of feeling this tune. But that's the club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. And me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. Okay, you can hear the way that, that um, all, all of those different things all just fit the, you know. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Okay, so all of those different parts of the song still fit over that same chord sequence. It's a really, really nice thing. The, the C sharp minor bar chord for anyone struggling with it, make sure you're muting the thicker string there with the tip of your first finger. Fourth fret, sixth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret again. Okay, it's an A shape bar chord. So if you're not familiar with your A shape and your E shape bar chords, you want to go and check out the intermediate course on the website. Lots of lessons on how to actually play it and how to get the chord sounding nice and clear. It's not uh, time enough to go through all of that kind of detail uh, in this lesson. However, there's a really nice little trick for beginner guitar players to play those same chords. And you've, I've actually seen uh, him, Ed does this live sometimes. Put the old capo or capo on the fourth fret and you can get exactly the same sounds as those chords by playing A minor to D minor, F to G. Okay, it's exactly the same chords, but we're using the capo instead. Let's see if I can give that a view. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. So you can hear, again, it's exactly the same harmony, but now we've got a capo, and it's as simple as playing there A minor to D minor, F to G. Okay, so that's a really nice approach there for a beginner if you just want to play it out and you want to strum it. Now, most times Ed is doing a strumming thing, right? So it's not like... Uh, if he's playing live in a stadia, then he's going to be using a loop. And I'm going to show you how to do a little loop of that, uh, the little kind of theme, the, the melodic theme that occurs often in the tune. But um, the main kind of rhythm groove, whether you're going to be playing the bar chords or whether you're going to use a capo and use the easy chords, um, it's a very specific kind of part. I'm just going to do it staying on the C sharp minor there, but it's this. Which is one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, down, up, down, down, up. That's the pattern, okay? So really important that you remember you keep your hand moving. You're not just going down, up, down, down, up. Because that creates a real kind of jerky feel. You want down, up, 
down, down, up, where you're keeping that hand moving, and that hand moving all the time will help you lock into the groove. So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. I'm adding in a few little mutes there, so down. You can hear there, I'm, I'm letting those little mutes there, I'm just lifting the chord up a little bit. So I'm kind of making sure I press down hard with the chord on the one, the and after two and beat four. But in between, I'm relaxing the hand so that it kind of mutes up the notes. So if I want some... So we can get that in between. Okay, now, what I chose to do when I was kind of thinking of an arrangement to do it there with Selena was decided to loop the little melody. Now, the melody part is actually fairly simple. Uh, if you play it on the second string, you go second fret, fifth fret, second fret, and that again. Okay, does it three times, and then fourth fret, second fret, open second string. One thing just to be aware of, it's a bit slow. It's easy to play it too fast is what I should say. You know, it, even for me, I've really got to kind of think of it a bit slowly because it's so wordy, this song. If you start too fast, you're really going to struggle with the singing or whoever's singing is going to struggle. So really make sure that you're keeping your, your tempo nice and under control. Um, if you're going to use a looper pedal, I've got my little looper pedal down here, the uh, TC Electronic Ditto thing. Um, I'd recommend playing it a couple of times first to make sure that you're in the groove. And then remember, you're going to put the hit the looper on right on beat one and then again on beat one again. So if you're thinking, well, uh. My, that's probably a little bit too fast. the little loop. Now, you could go and straight in to play all of the big chords again right away if you want. But what I kind of felt like made the song groove a little bit better was just playing the bass notes of the chord. So... C sharp, F sharp, A, B. And then when you get into the second part of the tune, the girl, you know I want your love, your love you know me for somebody like me. Now I'm shifting to power chords. It's down, up, down, down, up, down. And then when it gets into the shape of you into the chorus. So using a looper is really super effective. It does go right the way through the whole tune. There's lots of different ways of playing those same notes. So you might want to explore different ways of playing them. I know Ed, again, is one of those things that he uh, explores a little bit is the way, exact way that he plays it. But just getting the loop, playing it a few times beforehand, making sure you start the, and end the loop on beat one. They're the really important features there. Um, of course, if you're playing an acoustic guitar, it means it's got to be plugged in. So I'm actually plugged into a little PA system here in my, or in the studio, into a re recording console desk, not a PA, but it's kind of functioning as a, as a PA right now. But you'd need like an acoustic amplifier if you were playing it on an acoustic guitar, and you'd be having to be plugging uh, in and out of your looper pedal to play it that way, of course. However, Ed very often doesn't play it with the looper. So he just plays it the same as I was just doing there. So you'll just start with the single notes while he's singing. Got a little bit too fast now, but and then again he moves into the power chords. And then into the chorus, he's playing the full chord. Okay, and there's 
there's lots of different approaches that he uses and that you can use too. So don't feel tied in that you have to do it this particular way. It's the kind of tune where you could you try it doing finger style. You could try lots of different things. Um, if you want to explore the keys as well, if you're doing it particularly with the capo version, uh, you can just move the capo up and down to find a key that suits your voice well. Uh, usually for women singers, they want to move the capo up a little bit, like four frets is a kind of a usual amount, depends on the, your range, of course. Um, but there's even videos of Ed playing it in completely different keys. There's one uh, from, uh, he did a, a radio show in the UK called Capital One, um, and he's playing that in, the, in a completely different key. He's playing G sharp minor, C sharp minor, E to F sharp major. Which is like really far away from the, the key that it's actually been recorded in now. So, you know, really feel free to experiment how you do it and how if you want to use a looper or not. And because there's so many different approaches. And, and I think that's what makes these tunes kind of fun. But the, I think the important things here is the groove. One and four, one two, and three, four, one. Dun, 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 dun. Because that's really where you're going to get that kind of nice dancey feel that this tune has. Um, and remembering not to go too fast for the singers because it is there's some really wordy bits in there where you've got to get a lot of syllables out. I did have quite a few go. There, there's a version of me singing it, but I deleted it and got Selena in because it was um, sounded pretty rubbish, really. I just can't. I can't be doing this kind of tune, really. Um, but that shouldn't be deterring you, okay? You should definitely have a go at singing it because it's very good fun. It's quite difficult, particularly the little line in the chorus, everyday discovery and something brand new. That's a tricky line rhythmically to, to get down, but it's uh, lots of fun and I'm hoping you're enjoying it as well. So uh, I'll see you for plenty more Ed Sheeran very soon. A lot of stuff off the new record coming up. So I uh, hope you dig it and please subscribe if you dig what I do. Remember, there's more than a thousand free lessons over on the website, justinguitar.com. So go and check it out. Take care, people. Bye-bye.